Hey guys, new video here. Self curse in 3.9 functions pretty much the same way it always has, um, but I'm gonna get a lot of questions on this while I'm playing it. And previously, I always got a lot of questions like, you know, why are all the buffs above you all blue? Why are they lasting so long? Why does it look like your flasks are lasting like 20, 30 seconds? You know, how, how do you do that? And this is uh, called self curse. It revolves around two core items, and that is the shackles of the wretched here. And then it is always, and it also is the combs roots, okay? Which, so it takes up the boot slot and the glove slot. You cannot get around that. Um, there is one exception. You can not equip the boots if you are a jug because the jug has, um, basically it can't be slowed below base speed. And so this mod that you need on the combs roots is on the juggernaut ascendancy tree. But besides that, because most people aren't gonna play a jug, you do need these boots. I'll explain why in a little bit. So. How this gloves works, if you read the first um, line, that is the only thing that matters. Curses inside of this item are reflected back to you. So you hit an enemy with a curse, you're gonna also have that curse, unless for whatever reason you are uh, curse immune. So um, the easy example is to do, if you put in a curse on hit setup into the gloves, you can use Hero the Thunder, I think that's the best. You do need a shock for that. Uh, and then oh, you can also use Herald of Ice in here, but it's a little bit less reliable uh, and maybe a little bit less uptime as well. So usually it's Herald of Thunder, Curse on Hit, Temporal Chains, and then usually an Enlighten or something to get your mana a little bit less. So but really only you need the Herald of Thunder, Curse on Hit gem, and then the uh, Temporal Chains. So once you get those things and you put them in, I'm just going to run a quick map. And uh, this map that I've prepared is a white beach map tier one, so I don't embarrass myself. So I want you to pay attention to a few things. First, I want you to pay attention to my flasks. Now, if you look at me, like I'm, if I press my flask and stuff, you see that timer running down very quickly. You know, everyone knows how that feels. Your flasks are gone. Oh, it feels bad. So watch the timer on the flask once I get the curse up. Curses show up below the buff bar. It'll be right here. You'll see the temp chains icon. In my bar, you're gonna see this temporal chains. If you look here, this icon will show up right here to let you know that you have the curse sign. This is very important, okay? Because if you do not see that icon, it means something is wrong with your build. Either your curse immune, uh, your setup is incorrect, something is going on, you need to fix it, okay? So look for that icon. If you take a look at my gloves, um, these are shackles. I have um, what I have in here is I have. Um, the temp chain is level 12 right now. Does, the, the, it doesn't matter the, the level or anything like that um, or the quality you'll eventually get it, you know, whether you're using like a 120 or like a 2020, it, it won't matter, okay? Just use, just put put in the temp chains and level up as much as you can for your stats, okay? Hail the Thunder, um, once again, leveling this, it doesn't really matter the level because that's not doing the damage. You're not like, it's not like the attack damage that you care about. It's just about proccing the Hail the Thunder. So whether you have a level one, or a level 13 or level 20, it's not gonna matter that much. Just do whatever your stats allow you to level it to. Curse on hit, um, the most important thing about this curse on hit is the 23% uh, the quality, right? Increased effect of uh, supported curses. And that's gonna be important for, um, I'll, I'll explain why in a second. But curse on hit does not matter the level of the gem, just try to get 23% quality if you can. But if you only get a 20% quality, not a big deal, but it's, it does have some implication. Okay, and then if we look at the boots, um, the boots here, uh, the combs roots, it goes up to 200% life if you wanna get that. That's kinda cool to have a little bit more life. These were just cheap ones I could find um, and then enchanted with movement speed. And then that's about it. So I'm gonna run this map and uh, let's take a look. So I go in here and make sure you don't have a hexproof map, right? Because if it's a hexproof map, you're gonna need an awakened curse on hit to try to curse the heck proof. So I'm an ice shot build right now, I pop my flask, and then as you can see, look, look at that icon right there. You see that? Temp Chains icon is on. Now look at my flask, right? You see that? You, you see how slowly my flasks are going down? And, and they're still up, right? So instead of six seconds right now, what's happening is when I press my flask, they are lasting about four times as long, right? Like you, you can see me going through this, uh, this beach here. Now, obviously, very easy map, and you see the lightning strikes from my Hero of Thunder right there. Boom, boom, boom. Like I'm not attacking right now, my Mirage Archers, but you can you can kind of see the lightning strikes because um, with any little amount of lightning damage to your attacks or spells, if you get a crit, you're gonna shock 
right? Obviously, given that you don't have any weird um, keystones or anything on your tree or LE focus or something, but it is very easy to shock these days. And so you can pretty much see the temp chains. Once again, look in the top left corner. It is always up, meaning that all the buffs are lasting that much longer. Okay, so this applies to anything with a blue number, right? Now, now my flasks are, are down, right? I'm going to press my flask again. And now look, right? Hair of the Thunder lasts a long time. Ooh, a silver flask. Can't have determination. And um, that's basically how it works. It's basically a way to make all the buffs and stuff on you um, last longer, four times longer. Okay, this also affects some uh, negative effects like Ignite and stuff like that on you. So be careful with that. So as I'm going through, you can see it's very easy. You don't you don't ever run out of flasks. And that's it. That's it. All the buffs are lasting pretty much forever until it runs out. Okay. Now the reason that the things are still blue is because you have a Solstice Virgil, which I'll show in a second here. So let's bring up the browser again. So shackles mandatory. If you're not a jug taking the two pointer ascendancy, you have to get the combs roots. Now. Let me explain the interaction with this because action speed cannot be modified below base value. If you don't have these boots, the best way to explain it if you're kind of newer is that the temp chains is going to take you negative in terms of like just your, your animation speed pretty much. And you're going to be really, really slow, right? Like, like base speed you can think of as like when you make a new character on the Twilight Strand, that's pretty much base movement speed. So if you put this on, the, the severe negative side effects of the temp chains taking you to the negative animation speed are gone and you can still gain things like quick sword flask movement speed stealing movement speed you know get, like becoming speedier you know charges all that stuff um will now work more effectively and so you have to get these if you if you play it without these boots you're gonna feel awful okay and um another side note is that this since this is action speed you can't use things like tailwind so this league there's a thing called like a there's an exalted orb that adds that can add tailwind to boots uh, you can't gain tailwind if you are a dead eye you need to unspec the two points from tailwind because that will not work okay you will not get any benefit out of those nodes it's one of the negative down uh one of the negative effects of of these boots or having to yeah having to go this setup and then once again these gloves make sure that you're socketing the gems inside the gloves so things like curse on hit for example uh, my gloves are my gloves are uh, corrupted with LE weakness on hit as an implicit, okay? If they were corrupted with temporal chains on hit, because there's a lot of curses you can corrupt on the gloves, that would not work. It has to be a gem socketed inside, okay, for it to work. And also, do not use a warding flask. Do not run hexproof maps unless you have an awakened curse on hit. The last piece of this is um, going to be if you want to add a curse to your well there's two two more pieces a last piece if you want to add a curse to your shackles of the wretched what you're going to see is that it's very cheap right like the shackles are like a one jeweler item uh, if you have a curse elsewhere the combs are like a 1c item now if you want to add a curse let's say that you don't want these you want ellie weakness on hit right or actually you don't want the effect. you want any of the damaging uh curses to boost your character um, you can see it's still pretty cheap for getting a free curse on hit. One exalt, one exalt, 1.5, two exalts, two exalts, two exalts. So nothing too crazy here for this setup. And then the bigger piece though is going to be the Solstice Virgil. Now this is great because it, it makes it so that you need less um, curse effect, right? So without going into the math, because the math is super confusing, without going into the math, putting on a Solstice Virgil means that you only need 45 percent curse effect from all your sources right so the because the shapers present is like is like uh, makes things expire like slower on you and so you can imagine if you're only wearing the solstice virgil and no shackles um then what happens is you let's say you steal a header buff and it's 20 seconds that'll become 30 seconds right so still pretty good but then you put on the curse effect um uh, items and then if you're using temp chance then the buff will last 80 seconds okay so it's it'll multiply it for it's, it's like it's like a, a more multiplier but a less multiplier right because it's like speed based so you're gonna put on this amulet now it's 4.8 exalts right now but it was like it was like six exalts last night and this thing is gonna start falling in price because there was a patch last night that made it so um the shaper fight the shaper guardians 
um, before, like, you know, how you used to fight the four shaper giants, get the fragment. Those will now show up much more often for people. And because of that, the price of this and all the shaper items will be dropping the, dramatically. I estimate that this will probably be two exalts soon. So once again, same price as like a corrupted uh, shackles of the wretched. So nothing too much to worry about here in terms of budget. You put all these items together and you are going to have um, four times as long buffs, four times as long flasks, four times as long uh, charges up on you, right? Whatever buffs that you have. It's crazy. How do you get that curse effect, right? Because if you're wearing a solstice and I said that you need 45 curse effect, how can you get that? The best way is to search for a helmet that has 30% temporal chains. So you go here, temporal chains, scroll down, make sure it's enchant, increased temp chains curse effect, 30. You have to get the 30 here. Item category, you get that on a helmet and you just search. Get any of these, uh, 20C, 25C, 30C, 40C. Might be more expensive if you want a unique, but you can craft these, right? The modifiers for minus uh, res are still there. You can use a pristine, you don't have a subterranean rule anymore for percentage life, but you can still use pristine fossil and the elemental fossil of your choice will be a few C in total. And you can get a life roll, a minus nine resist roll for nearby enemies. And then it'll probably come with a resist roll because of the elemental fossil that you use, right? Pristine metallic, uh, pristine metallic uh, or pristine frigid, pristine scorched, pristine aberrant if you're child's damage. I don't know, get the correct fossil, right? Very easy to craft these. You don't need to worry about the stats because you're going to end up crafting this helmet for 1020C anyways, right? So pretty cheap there. And so that's 30%. Where do you get the other um, 15%? Well, like I said, the curse on hit um, uh, gem, right? Curse on hit quality adds the curse effect. So if you have a 20%, it's 10% curse effect. If you have a 23%, it's 11.5%. But in PoE, it's 11%. So now you're missing 4%. We're going to get the 4%. The 4% is going to be gotten through this. This is... Oh, you guys can't see my skill tree. Whoops. This is a... Uh, you don't need that implicit, by the way. The implicit doesn't even do anything for the mana because uh, it's only 1%. But this jewel you get from doing a quest. I believe it's the bathhouse quest in Act 7 or 8. Act 8. So it's a free jewel that everyone gets. 4% increased effect of your curses. That perfectly rounds out the 11 from the curse on hit quality gem um, for 15. So 30 from the helmet, 4% from this jewel, 11% from the um, from the gem, okay? If you don't have the 11%, let's say you only have a 20% curse on hit. That's totally fine, okay? You won't even notice. It's just this is a little bit min-maxed that you can get um, on the cheap. And that's about it. You put those things together and it's pretty fun. It's going to make uh, mapping pretty good if you can steal the mod. So if you have Inspired Learning and Header, it is, is exceptional. But there are situations where you might want more um, uptime on other buffs, right? So it's something you can consider while you're working towards more Inspired. Because Inspired is like, it's going up in price a little bit. But, you know, Inspired Header are relatively cheap right now for what they do uh, for this point in the league. And then, yeah, you can try it out. See if you like it. It gives you more uh, more time, you know more quality of life so that that's how the the whole thing works okay and if you have any questions i stream on twitch every day i'll see you guys there and thanks for watching my video okay bye guys bye